You configure Pro Tools when you open a new session. I'm going to go to File, New Session, and I get to a window which is very similar to the Quick Start window when you launch Pro Tools. Inasmuch as you can create a session from a template, so here I have various different templates, or you can create a blank session. If you have a quick look at some of these templates, for example, you can set up 24 channels with EQ and FX returns, or just 24 tracks with FX returns. Or, if you're a songwriter, you can go into basically piano, reverb, etc. I'm going to set up a blank session, and I'm going to choose my audio file. Uh, now, BWF, Broadcast Wave Format, or AIFF. Um, I, I prefer Wave because it's uh, uh, cross-platform friendly. And Sample Rate. Now, Sample Rate, 48K if you're going to do anything with film, and 44.1 for records. Uh, it's pretty much a, a, an industry standard. Bit Depth. I stay with 24 bits because I like 24 bit much better than 16. And Input Output Settings. You can have either Last Used, Stereo Mix, or various input output settings that you've saved. Uh, I'm going to use Stereo Mix. And that basically is it. Once you, once you click OK, it's going to ask you to save. So I'm going to save and Pro Tools will build a session and we're ready to go. So now we've created our session. Let's add some tracks. So we'll go to the track menu, new, and we get to the new tracks window. How many tracks do we want to create? What is the format, mono or stereo? What is the type of track? So we can have audio track, auxiliary input, master fader, MIDI track, or instrument track. What is their time base, whether they're based on samples, absolute time, or whether they're referenced to the tempo, to ticks. And the little plus here sets up a different, uh, another line of new tracks. So we'll have one mono audio track, one stereo audio track. We'll click the add. We'll have one stereo auxiliary track plus one stereo instrument track plus one stereo master fader. Now I can rearrange these. You see these little arrows here on the on the right. Say I want my MIDI instrument track to be totally left of the console and hit create. If I look on my mixer here I have instrument, audio, stereo audio, you can see through the uh, stereo view meters, auxiliary. Now, if I double click on instrument, I can name this piano, and then command and I hit the right arrow, or control and, and right arrow if you're on PC, and this will be bass, and then drums, and this is my auxiliary, I'm going to call this reverb, and the master output is going to be called output. 